Tokyo Electric Power Company plans to ask the government to cover part of the cleanup and compensation costs after the Fukushima nuclear crisis. It says the work will be too costly for a single company to afford. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi plant is expected to make the request in its new management plan covering the next two fiscal years. TEPCO will announce the plan on Wednesday. TEPCO says it will set up a new office in Fukushima Prefecture to transfer some of its functions of its head office. It will assign more than 4,000 staff to work there. The utility says it will make an all-out effort to clean up radioactive materials from the Cripple plant and to compensate people affected by the accident. TEPCO says compensation and decontamination costs could add up to more than $120 billion. TEPCO will ask the government to review a current framework for supporting the utility and foot part of the costs. It asks for a new plan to be formulated by next spring. Concerns are rising over whether Tokyo Electric Power Company has secured enough workers to decommission the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. New figures suggest the utility had earlier over-reported the number of workers it has on its payroll. NHK found through an interview with TEPCO officials that only 8,000 workers are registered for the job as of last month. The utility has estimated 11,700 workers are necessary for decommissioning work this year. It earlier said there would be no manpower shortage as it had secured about 24,000 workers. But this figure represents the total number of people who have worked at the crippled plant since the accident on March 11th last year. 16,000 workers have already quit the job. Many of them left due to severe working conditions. TEPCO officials say that some workers will register again and therefore there will be no employee shortage in the short term. But they also admit they cannot predict how many workers they can secure and also said they must train their workforce. 3,000 people a day are working on the unprecedented project. Their responsibilities include taking out nuclear fuel rods from three reactors which have melted down.